Just a few more things. I got some hair direction things to do on a forehead and uh, on the uh, body of the horse itself. And then I've got to get the rain, the Indian rain, sculpted in. And that's, I printed up uh, some uh, pictures for that uh, that I took in a, at a modeling session with Michael Terry years ago. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today is just get that to the point of uh, getting this thing done and then I can take uh, it to the foundry this afternoon. It's again early in the morning and I'm a little tired. screw it down to the board that I've got back here permanently uh, just so that it won't be shifting around. It should be strong enough to travel well so we'll see what happens. Just so you can see that's a life size. Well actually I'd say one and a third life size of a horse. Uh, the rubber mold has been made of it. This is from another artist. 
and that's part of the cowboy you can see the clay there on the horse but that's how they make a mold with the gates these are the little walls here and then they'll put fiberglass or, or plaster on inside of each one of those gates um, yeah. And and this this is Ashley Ashley. Ashley. Uh, these are the parts of the horse, or that sculpture that are done making mold of. And this is after the mold's been taken off. That's part of the horse's head. And you can see the rest of the piece here. This is the head of the horse. That's the gentleman who's making this artistic mold. Here's the cowboy's head. But you can see it's just a huge amount of work. Right, the horse's head. Mold. Now, would you cut the horse's head off? This leg and the gun off. Yeah. Yeah, it would take the horse's head off. That probably in order to leave his head on there because he's so masked to the horse. Yeah, yeah. Which is a neat effect, Dave. I don't think it should be done a different way. I didn't know any other way to do it. Right, the only other way with the gym, you know, if there was spit, they just kind of pushed up against each yeah. other. Yeah. All right, left off the uh, clay. I'm going to leave it off here at the, uh, actually this is the base room. This is where they put the bases on, on bronzes and get them ready to be shipped. Um, it's just no room upstairs, as you can see in the mold making room because you know they're, they're even extended down here with this mold um, we went over the Matt uh, who is the mold maker who you saw upstairs mixing uh, latex rubber um, he and Mitch uh, went over the piece uh, just to discuss how they're going to make the mold how they're going to cut it apart I told them where uh, you can cut it apart and, and lift the lady up uh, we already took the ho tail off the horse and uh, I've laid that down over here on this uh, rubber. But now it's ready to be molded and cast. I don't know when they're going to get to it because they're trying to finish up those molds upstairs. And this one here, and because it's a big project, it's uh, two cowboys on horseback reaching over a fence, shaking hands. So it's a major, major work of art. And you can see they've been doing the latex rubber thing down here too. And that's what's left of the other horse that the other cowboy was sitting on. Just laying here on the ground. That's a good six feet long by about, uh, oh, I would say three feet, three and a half feet uh, deep. All right, well, heading home to Bo uh, Ennis now. So, uh, that's this little trip to uh, the foundry here.